Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. This area for the 4.0 earthquake I've covered quite a bit. It's within the uh, zone of the Gorda Plate where it's doing a clockwise rotation and the Mendocino Triple Junction. Not far from Elder Point, Zena, Blocksburg, Phillipsville. Over here on the right, this is the Bartlett Springs Fault Zone. And it goes all the way up through this area, which is the uh, uh, Gorda Plate within this white triangle zone. And extends all the way up, kind of east of Eureka. In 2016, there was a magnitude 4.8 and 2020 a 2.9. Let me come back down here. Also, on the opposite side of the fault zone is Makama Fault Zone. It ends somewhere up in this location. Here's a research paper showing the Bartlett Springs Fault Zone that goes all the way up, like I said, on the eastern side of Eureka. And then this red zone is the Makama Fault Zone. Right in between the two here is that 4.0 earthquake. Another research paper showing the Bartlett Springs Fault Zone, which is this solid black line here, and the Makama Fault Zone, which is right here to the left on the western side of where this earthquake occurred. This was a strike-slip earthquake. The first wave of the earthquake, what they call the P-wave, came from the north. Tension was applied. Yeah, going west. Felt reports as far south as the Sacramento Valley, um, Ukiah. And we got here Fortuna, up south, up, excuse me, up north. Uh, Red Crest. Myers Flat, Garberville, and another two from Garberville. This earthquake was felt at 2.48 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and so far 15 people have reported to USGS that they felt it. At 7.08 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, there was a magnitude 2.5 afterwards. One person reportedly felt that earthquake. So using Google Earth, like I said, here's the Bartlett Spring Fault Zone. We'll go to that uh, 2.5, I believe it was, right there in the Mendocino Triple Junction. I'll bring it back out so you can see the direction that it was right there compared with this 4.0. Okay, 2.5 right in there, 4.0 right there. This is the direction that the energy was transferred to. USGS has a scenario of a magnitude 7.4 earthquake that they could have along the McCall Fault Zone. This says McCall-Garberville. The paper states that the McCall Fault Zone is a right lateral strike fault that lies north of Santa Rosa uh, and the immediate San Francisco Bay Area and extends as far north as Ukiah. It connects to the Roger Creek Fault Zone, a complex set of faults between Santa Rosa and Hillsburg. So, going back to uh, Google Earth, let's see where Yakai is compared to this 4.0 earthquake. See, the McCall um, Fault Zone actually extends a lot farther than Yakai, but their scenario only covers it up to that area. Now, you do know that earthquakes can produce earthquakes on adjoining fault zones. Here's another image of the Bartlett Springs Fault Zone, the Makama uh, Fault Zone, and the San Andreas Fault Zone. And I want to zoom in to uh, the Cobb Mountain earthquake that they had yesterday. Let's zoom into that. And that was a magnitude 4.2. And I don't have the uh, Makama Fault Zone drawn all the way out from there. But it would, it, it would extend down through here 
to the left of the uh, 4.2 and then to the right would be the Bartlett Springs Fault Zone. And seeing how any of these areas could have a magnitude 7.4, maybe even greater, USGS did a scenario for that. I want to remind people that a large earthquake could shake anywhere from 1 to 3 minutes. And during that minute to 3 minutes of shaking, the ground would move back and forth, right to left, uh, probably 6 feet constant every second of that earthquake be it a minute or three minutes, but every second of that earthquake span, the ground would move six feet back and forth. So that is why it is very important to have things bolted to the wall. Don't have uh, large objects above your headboard. And that's because USGS says most of the large earthquakes happen at night when people are in bed. You don't want things flying out of your cupboards and get hit in your head with a can of pork and beans or pots or glassware. You don't want that flat screen TV or old fashioned tube TV falling on a child or even yourself or even large bookshelves or the hot water heater with gas lines being disconnected and causing fires. Yeah, one to three minutes of shaking during a large earthquake where the ground moves back and forth six feet every second. So did you feel any of these two earthquakes, this 4.0 or the 2.5? If so, if so, please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.